everyone, Heather Mahalik here with another Tip Tuesday. This week I'm going to show you how to prepare an Android device for acquisition. First we need to go into the settings and we need to scroll down to about phone and then go into software information. Once we are in software information, we need to tap the build number seven times and you will see a countdown to developer begin. Once developer mode has been turned on, click back and go back one more time and scroll down, you'll see developer options. Now you wanna make sure you turn on stay awake. You wanna turn on USB debugging and click okay. And then you also want to make sure you turn off verify apps over USB and enable or disable any other settings that the UFED is telling you to do. If you find you cannot pair with the device, you may have to revoke USB debugging authorizations from prior systems. Once you are in this state, you can then go forth and connect to your computer, your UFED, and finish your extraction. I wanna take the time to show you some options during a Qualcomm Live extraction that I'm doing on my device where I can do selective file system or full file system. So if I check selective file system, you'll see that I can go through and specify specific categories. And I know I walked you through how to set up these items, but if you're looking for something specific or specific categories, you can go through and choose your options here. So you could say maybe you're looking for developer tools and let's say other, and you select other. You just want specific things, utilities, unknown. These are going to go through and find these items for you. If you know of an app or a file that you are searching for, you can start typing it in and then select it. This way, it maximizes your time during an extraction and UFED will go through and simply extract your files of interest and give you quick access for faster analysis. And remember, you can always go back and do the extraction again. So this is a great way for you to possibly get what you need as quickly as you need and keep with the pace that we have in DFIR. This week I wanna focus on chat capture, which is now built into UFED. I'm gonna select mobile device, and then I'm going to browse devices. Now keep in mind you can choose a generic Android profile, or you can go to a recently used, or even do auto detect for that device. From the main screen here, we will see chat capture, and that's what I wanna select. Now make sure after you choose your location that you read all the settings on this screen and actually follow them. Once the settings are enabled, press continue. You will then get a warning that you're about to access a live conversation and UFED is going to warn you that the screen settings will be temporarily changed in order to get the best capture. You have an option here to choose yes or no. I'm going to select yes. Next, you'll see a list of the applications. This is a test device, so I don't have much on it. And I know I wanna specifically focus on WhatsApp, but if you chose generic, it would go through and it would scroll and capture as much as it can until we cannot anymore. It may also extract some support unsupported applications. So I'm gonna choose WhatsApp, and I'm just gonna choose a time frame of a year and select next. I now say I have a conversation with Hank, so I'm going to select it and press next. What the UFED is going to do is go through and start grabbing screenshots. If you ever feel like you have enough, you can choose stop capture. If you run out of time, maybe you lose consent at that point, you can always stop the capture. The device will keep scrolling down and taking snapshots that encompass the time frame that you provided. Once that's complete, press next. At this point, your extraction has been completed successfully. You can now parse this extraction inside a physical analyzer where you can conduct keyword searches, examine these screenshots, and dig for even more relevant information. This week, I wanna cover a question that came up on the Forensic Discord channel from Rolf Govers. And he had an iPad that was not supported with Checkmate. So his question was, if he installed the Checkrain jailbreak on it, could he get a full file system extraction using UFED? So because of a good question from a solid researcher, I decided I was going to try this myself. So here you can see mobile device, and I'm just gonna go out to browse devices and choose recently used. I have this iPhone 6S. It is jailbroken with Checkrain, and I'm going to choose advanced logical. Now, I would always recommend trying Checkmate first, and that's exactly what Rolf tried, and it was not supported. 
So now what we wanna do is you need to jailbreak it before connecting it to the system, or maybe it arrived to you in a jailbroken state. Now, as a warning, when you go into full file system here and you choose your location and you make sure your device is connected and do all these things, when your device is done with the extraction in UFED, it will reboot, which means you will lose that check ring jailbreak. So I just wanna give that to you as a warning. However, it's really trivial to go through and just jailbreak it again. This is the screen that you need to see in order for the full file system extraction to be just that. If it is not already check reigned, this will not work. So you should see your device, the iOS version, and the fact that check rain is installed. So once I press next, the full file system extraction will go through and take place. On the screen of the device, make sure you don't touch it, you don't interact with it. You will see some warning signs in different color screens. Have faith that it's working, parse it in PA. Um, I always like to go and verify that I have knowledge C and you will have a full file system extraction. This week, I wanna walk you through a new file format that we have for full file system extractions. It's called the CLBX and it's essentially a zip archive. I'm going to select mobile device and I'm going to browse out to one of my recently used and I have an already jailbroken iPhone 10. So I'm going to choose full file system here. I'm going to say where I wanna save it, select folder and then press next. Now at this point, make sure you read the screen that you trust your device and that the continue button illuminates. I press continue and you're going to see this new pop-up saying celebrate recommends our new CLBX format to select continue. If you wanna click cancel, DAR will be used, which is our legacy format. The reason we moved forward with CLBX is to ensure that your operations and processes are supported and not impacted in a negative way if you're used to the DAR. So you have an option at this point. Eventually we will go completely to CLBX because it is an archive format that we are willing to provide to anyone. If you wanna see the basic layout and how to support it, we will provide those technical specifications. So I'm going to select continue. At this point, it's going to connect. You can see that I'm running 1451 and that I have CheckRain installed. From here, go through your normal processes, let the screen do its thing, let the UFED do its thing, and you will have a CLBX extraction that can be loaded into Physical Analyzer and loaded into your tool of choice, as long as those tools can parse zip archives. Again, if you're interested in seeing the technical specifications, log into your Celebrate portal or just reach out to Celebrate and we were happy to provide that to you. Hi everyone, Heather Mahalik here with another Tip Tuesday. You can see on my screen right now that I am already in the midst of doing a full file system extraction. So what I did is I connected my device to UFED. I chose Advanced Logical Full File System. And after the device is recognized and the extraction is in progress, you're going to see that I have a new option built in and it's Selective File System. Selective File System is going to enable you to select key artifacts that you are authorized to extract from these devices. So obviously a full file system extraction is recommended as it gets you everything, but on occasion you don't have time to do that. Now do you see on the right hand side where it says no category database was found? You have to load that in the settings. And I recommend every time you update UFED that you update this file. What it does is you could choose social media, browser, and it helps you find those chat categories. If you did not update it and you're already in the midst of your extraction, you could simply just start searching and say, I want Facebook, maybe you want Snapchat, maybe you want calendar, I don't know, I'm going to select a few items here. So I selected three applications and I'm going to select extract. You can see it's going through and it's starting with the extracting of the metadata and then it will extract the applications that you specified. This is very similar to what we have implemented for Android. So now it is actually supporting iOS as well.
A few of you reached out asking me how to properly load the application categorization database into UFED. So I decided to do another Tip Tuesday showing you how to handle all these moving pieces. If you're in UFED, you wanna go into the settings. And what you're going to see is under system, you're going to see the option to load a database for app categorization. It tells you to go to My Celebrate, Products and Licenses, Responder or UFED, and then Add-ons. But I wanna show you this. So I went into My Celebrate, under UFED 4 PC, I click on downloads. Now typically we all go right here and we download what we need. Where you need to go is under add-ons, if you scroll down, you're going to see this app categorization and it tells you the last one, the latest and greatest. So I'm going to select download and let this download to my system. When the download completes, you're going to see a zip file. I want you to right click and just extract those files to your downloads directory or whatever you downloaded that file. Once the database is extracted, this is what you want to load. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to browse and I'm going to browse out to that database. And it's going to say it already exists. Do you want to override the existing file? Select okay. And then you will have app categorization when you go to extract a device that offers that.